I got a thing up on the screen, so you have to go with music. Okay. It's about to go. Hey, Dang. it's about that time. But it's about see, that time. hey, and it's green. <laughs> hey. Church the other day, somebody was like, I love God and money. I was like, Lord Jesus. Hey, why would you say that? (laughs) Hey, man. (laughs) Hey, we love God. Hey, we love God. Hey, hey, man. Hey, hey, God bless all the listeners who are now tuned in live to the seed talk broadcast. So uh, we just want to uh, first and foremost thank y'all for tuning in live and we will truly appreciate it if you guys like this video and share it please and invite somebody the invite button is on the left hand of the comment section of this video so please like invite and share this video amen so y'all already know who it is it's your boy your brother minister Ali and I'm here with my beloved brethren Dwayne Hyler <laughs> Amen. Amen. So um, today we got some very important information and we know it's going to be edifying because it is truly from the word of God. So I'm excited for us to dive into this and share what God has given us. Amen. So we just want to just take this time out, you know, just uh, once again, thank y'all for tuning in. All right. Amen. Thank y'all. Amen. Thank y'all. Amen. So um, uh, being chosen is what we're talking about today. Yeah, being chosen and uh, not and, and not, not being, being of, of this, this world. world, amen. Yeah. Well, simple, simple topic today. Right. We're gonna be quick and we're gonna keep it simple. Right, but it's gonna be edifying, amen. Amen. Uh, I, I'm just reminded of Minister Greenwood. He, when we study scripture, he always asks, "What does that look like?" <laughs> yeah, he does. But, but. When we go over scripture, he'd be like, "But bro, what does that look <laughs> what does like?" That look like? <laughs> Amen. So we want to just uh, what does it look like to be you know, chosen, right? Come on now. <laughs> what and does it look like to be in the world, but not of the world? And well, what does that look like? <laughs> we're going to find out. Amen. Uh, through the Holy Spirit, we're going to um, be led in God to give truth to God's people. Amen. Amen. So um, we're going to be coming from the Book of John. Amen. We're not just the average show. We don't want to just throw out, you know, and just say vain things and just give opinion and, and, and useless talk. We really want to set the standard of a show who truly, truly gives out the word of God. Amen. So John 17. Amen. We don't want to get too theological or too, um, 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 what's that word, scholarly, you know, but we want to give what's necessary. Amen. So being chosen. And not being of this world. So if I can just on the behalf of Minister Greenwood ask my, my brother, what does that look like? <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Oh, man. Man. No problem, no problem. Uh, so being chosen, right? So the Bible first it says that um, many are called, but few are chosen. That's a popular scripture, right? And right. And so, and like you said, what does that look like? Right. To be chosen as opposed to being called mm. right so the the first thing that you got to get into is is who was chosen and when were they chosen mm. and the bible declares i believe in philippians chapter 2 yes sir that he mean, meaning god chose us before the foundation of the world us baptized believers baptized repentant believers filled with the holy spirit he chose us before the foundation of the world. Before creation, he chose us. So those are the ones that are chosen. Right. Now, what does it look like to be called? For example, the Israelites in Egypt. Mm-hmm. They were all called, but not all of them were chosen. Wow. They didn't all make it. In the book of Acts, the gospel was preached. Some believed, some didn't. Those who, were, who believed were the ones that were chosen. In Acts chapter, I believe, 16, it literally says, after the gospel was preached, that those who were ordained to receive eternal life believed. Who were those who were ordained to receive eternal life? Those who were chosen before the foundation of the world. Yes, sir. So, it says That's that deep, he man. chose us in him. So, before he created the world 
and placed us in it. Mm. He chose us in him and we existed in him in some form or fashion before the foundation of the world. Wow. Right? So now as we get to John 17. Yes, sir. Uh, verse 16, which is our head scripture, we'll see why he's saying what he's saying. Amen. And, 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 and let me say this. <clears throat> We 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 about to we are, we are, we about to dive into this, right? Um, I want to piggyback off what you uh, uh, were just stating. Um, you, we can, as as believers, identify who have been chosen, right? Of co- according to scripture, according to scripture, yeah. right? Because of the the knowledge, the wisdom, the revelation, um, things that align up with the Holy Spirit. We of course, you know, we all uh, agree, right? Like you say, er- everyone has, you know, heard the call. Everyone has been called, but not everyone has been chosen. Amen. All right, and 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 we see that being chosen come with certain things. Right. You know, like persecution. Right. Um, sufferings. You know, etc. Amen. Amen. That, that's all I wanted to say. Yeah. Even as Jesus walked on the earth, he went to his disciples. Right. The call went out. Mm-hmm. They followed. Because they were chosen, but the call went out to others mm, who would not follow. Right, the, the rich man. That's right. Who had who he told to sell all his stuff. The the man with the dead father. The man with the dead father. That's right. Uh, I believe there was another man who asked um, him, asked Jesus a question. Plus his family about getting into heaven, and Jesus told him like you have to obey the commands or whatever. Right. And he was like, I did those, but then he gave him something else to do, but he couldn't do that part. Um, but those people received the call. Right. But they couldn't accept it because they weren't chosen. Mm. So that was that was it right there. We see that in church. Not everybody in that is a part of the church, just like not everybody that was a part of Israel, not everybody that was a Jew was actually a part of the chosen seed of promise. Yes, that's the Bible. Right? I think Paul wrote, not all mm-hmm. who are Israel, Israel are Israel. Are Israel. That's right. So even in today's physical church atmosphere, not everybody who is in the right. in the building or in the group or mm-hmm. in the in the the community of people are actually uh, part of the <laughs> chosen seed. Oh man! I, I got another. I got another uh, quotable. Not everyone who is a part of the organization <laughs> is a part of the organism, organism, right? And not everybody who shows up to the building is a part of the body. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Oh Lord. Exactly. <laughs> Somebody so go take who, and watch. <laughs> those are people who were called, and they right. liked it, the sound of the call, yes. so they came and joined the religious aspect of it. Right. But they weren't chosen, so they could not get under the load of the Word of God. Amen. In submission and obedience. Yes, sir. Right. Even he says you can't come unless he draws you. Mm-hmm. And he said that he granted us permission not only to believe. He granted us permission wow. not only to believe. So that means if God grants me permission, I have then I will basically have to believe. Right. You you weren't able to believe on your own. At first. He had that's to right. grant you that. Wow. And it said not only to believe but to suffer. Mm. For his name's sake. Right. Wow, that's deep. Right. Amen. Let's, let's, let's get into the scripture though. Yes, sir. Um John seventeen, right? Um, this is Jesus. We know right here, John 17, okay, verse 16. And it says, they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Amen. And, you know, we're not going to go too deep into the the surrounding scriptures, Passage, verses, right. but you can check that out on your own. But he simply declares that his chosen people are not of this world, even as he is not. Far too often, because of how churchianity teaches, right, we want to be a part of this world and to elevate our stature in this world. But if we look at the life of Christ, he never tried to elevate his stature in this world. Even when facing death, I believe he told uh, Pontius Pilate, is that he said mm-hmm. Pontius Pilate or Pontius Pilate? Pontius he told Pontius, Pilate, Pontiac. Um, <laughs> If I if my kingdom had been of this world, right, right, then his his, his angels, angels will fight for me. That's right. Have fought for him, but his kingdom is not a part of this world. 
which means if we are a part of his kingdom, we are also a not a part of this world. So then why do we spend so much time trying to wow. elevate our stature within this world? Wow. Now, if God has given you elevated stature, that God has given you based on, based on his purpose for how he's going to use you in this world, that's fine. But beyond that, when we are so focused on pushing to try to create our own elevation, mm -hmm. right, within this world, when that so should not be the case. Mm -hmm. And there's so many scriptures that back that up. Store your treasures up in heaven, not on earth. Seek ye first the kingdom of God, right? So, hey Amen. I, I like what you said because it just, it just shows us that when we, when we find no value, and where God placed us in his kingdom, we will seek to gain the world's things. Right. And to make us feel like somebody, to make us, you know, strong, you know, mentally or, you know, to, to just, like I said, be somebody, feel like I'm somebody, to right. be over you. You know, because in the kingdom, we know there's order. We know that, you know, since we're not of this world, we operate different. We think different. Amen. So being chosen, you know, you don't act, act as if you were called. Right, right. Because once you're caught, once you're chosen, if you, when when you, when when you know you're chosen, all right, you'll operate different than those who are called. Because right. those who are called can't operate as if they're chosen. Because right. they can't. Being chosen comes with what God has for you. Right. Amen. So we we have to have to really value and 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 trust and 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 just just. I mean, I don't know. Just be passionate about where God has placed us. And, and first of all, in his mind, because right. it was in his mind before the foundation of the world that we will be chosen, be saved, right. receive the gifts of the Holy Spirit, you know, be carriers of the gospel, preachers and teachers and, and, and et cetera. Amen. So we really got to value where God has placed us, because right. if we don't, we're going to seek to find value or to place value on things that are perishable, goes. perishable. And, and and that's just that that'll be a waste of a lifetime to right. to to just disregard what God has done for us, disregard what God has placed us, disregard being chosen, right. and we'll find value in everything else that has nothing to do with the will of God right. for our lives. Amen. And it's a freeing, it's freeing information because there's so much pressure in society in the world to be a certain way. And obtain certain things. Right. But look what he said. He says that we are not of the world even as he is not. Right? Wow. Christ was the word of God in heaven manifested on the earth as flesh. Mm -hmm. Here for a purpose which the end result was death so that he can be received back into glory. Wow. Right? That was the life of Christ. Eternal temporary and then eternal right now let's 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 look at our life it says that he chose us in him before the foundation of the world that's it that's eternal mm -hmm. then we were conceived in sin shaped in iniquity on the on the earth temporary here for a purpose which the end result is death at the end of that those who are chosen right will be received into glory. That's right. What does it say? We know not yet, as it appears, mm -hmm, what well, we shall be. We shall be like him, because we shall see him as, as he, he is. is. As he That's is, glory. not what he was, as he is. That's Man. glory. That's right. So just like the life of Christ, we come from eternity in God, placed on the earth temporarily. For a purpose. We're Man. not here. Look at what Peter calls us, what Peter what Peter calls the people in First Peter uh, chapter 1. And, and and let me say this before you go there. We, that God, I, I, I know, puts a strong emphasis on being separated from the world. Yep. Because we know that all that is in the world is the lust of the flesh, mm -hmm. the lust of the eye, and the, and the pride, pride of life. life. All those things lead to separation from God. Yep. Yep. So now being carriers of the gospel, we have to know that the gospel is, is, is not something that's just worldly or something that's uh, 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 moral in a moral sense. No, everything that is in this world is foolishness to God. Hey Amen. I want to look up the definition of redeemed real quick. Hey Amen. Remember in Psalms, he said, some of us will look at the world 
and try to be like the world and imitate the world. That's right. He said, when I looked at the prosperity my of feet, the wicked, I almost my feet slipped. almost slipped. That's right. Make my feet like, like high feet. feet. That's right. And, and it's crazy because the world's goods, the world's standards, and the way the world operates seems pleasing if you're walking in your flesh. Right. Right? So now that we know that the world pulls at us, the world pulls at our mind. Paul said that it's a war between my members. The flesh want to go and live in the world. The spirit wants to seek the things in the kingdom of God. So therefore, it's a war in my members. Right. And 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 if you looking through the eyes, through the natural eyes, though everything in the world seems great. The cars, the clothes, the 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 top spot. You know, just been the man. Just been the the the, the you know, just been just been all. But we know when it comes to the kingdom, it's the complete opposite opposite right where you know you have to be humble a servant amen you amen. know now it, back back to that word redeem the word redeem means to buy back right right but meaning it belonged to you at first mm-hmm and then it didn't but you're getting it back mm-hmm wow right? redeemed so in order for us to be redeemed by God, we had to originally belong to him in the first place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's not that we did not belong to God and then preach, he just came and preach, saved us. Preach, preach up. <laughs> we are, before the foundation of the world, we already belonged to God. That's because right. Because he chose us. See, we already belong to him. See, now you, you, you're talking about redeemed. You're going to have to, you know, at least touch on why we had to be redeemed and what happened, you know, during that time where where we were we, we left from from being in God, you know. Right. Just just, just the, the, the world <laughs> being in a state of sin because of what took place with Adam. Amen. I'll just leave it as simple as that. Amen. And us being born into that curse. Yes. Whereby in Revelations it says at the end there will be no more curse. No more. It'll be over. But we are born into that curse. And thus we need to be redeemed. But we already belong to God eternally as he chose us in him mm -hmm. before we were placed. We were just placed here. Look what Paul said. Paul said, uh, uh, not Paul, Peter. Peter, an apostle of Jesus Christ, to the strangers mm -hmm. scattered throughout Pontus, Galatia, uh, and Asia, and Bithynia. Right? He called them strangers. strangers. Or another word for strangers is foreigner, right? In order to be a foreigner, you have to not be from the place that you're in. That's right. Wow. I so like that. Again, back to <laughs> us, we are not originally from this world. Mm -mm. Going back to John 17, we are literally not of this world. We are just here. And then he said, elect according to the foreknowledge of God the Father. Foreknowledge means knowledge before. Right? Mm. We, elect means chosen. We were chosen according to something wow. God knew before. Before what? Before the foundation of the earth. Beloved, we don't have to get caught up in the cares of this world. No, sir. We are not from here. We were just born into it. So wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I don't want to interject, but I have to ask the question. So why is it so that so many people are caught up into the cares of this world? So many, so many believers get caught up because that's, that's a good question and I have to only talk about believers because outside of believers you can't do anything but be a part of this world yes. so many believers I would believe are caught up is because they are connected to their flesh and not to their spirit mm -hmm. right the Bible says that we have to die daily mm -hmm. what to our flesh yes if we're not dying daily to our flesh and seeking the word of God then we have nothing to be connected to but our flesh, and wow. our flesh is connected to the world. Wow. That's right. Our flesh is connected to the world, and thus we will be connected to the world. Wow. Right? Wow. You seek ye first the kingdom of God. Well, and see, that's that should question. be our focus. But the kingdom of God is not here. It's not and here. And that's the problem. It's the word. Come on now. So if people don't know where the kingdom of God is, and they don't understand the blessed hope, then what you're going to do, you that's are right. going to seek the riches of the world. That's right. Wow. Let me, let me hit you with something. Until Christ hit me with <laughs> Until Christ comes and physically saves us, physically redeemed us, 
salvation is only psychological. Wow. It's not physical. Wow. It's, yes. It's, it's only psychological. Yes. yes. Because physically we're trapped Spiritual. and stuck That's right. in this sin. Yes. Uh, in this, this sinful flesh. Yes. We can't escape it. Yes. We're here. Right? But the Bible deals with the psycho psychological aspect of salvation over and over. Right? Uh, having your mind renewed. Right? Seeking. Meditating. It's all based on the word of God uh, encompassing our, our mind, our listen, psychological listen, state. Listen what John the Baptist says in regards to Jesus. He said, Behold, the Lamb of God, at one point then, right? Mm -hmm. Then he says, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Is at hand. Is that hand? When he sees Jesus. Mm -hmm. so, so what God does, he allows us to sit in heavenly places to give us a blessed hope that beyond this life, there is a life eternal. Exactly. And if our minds are not rooted in the word of God, through seeking, through studying, through meditation, right? Our spirit is not being fed. Look out, Doc. You're about to open it up. Look out. And if our spirit is not being fed, it's being weakened and it's dying. Every day. And if that's dying, then what's living? It's like a balanced being, right? Wow. Here's your spirit. Here's your flesh. If you're feeding your spirit with the word of God and that's the focus of your life, it gets stronger. And by default, the yes. flesh gets weaker. Right. Yes. And so when there's a battle, because what did, what did Paul say? There's a war of my members. Yes. When there's a battle, the strongest wins. That's yes. right. <laughs> but if we're not seeking the things of God, That's we're right. not in the word of God, yes. because we think it's unnecessary, we yeah. think we can just go to church and wake up and put on some gospel music, and that's it, right? Then our spirit is getting weaker. Yes. And by default, the flesh mm -hmm. is it's getting stronger. Wow. When the, when the battle takes place, who wins? The flesh right. wins. The flesh wins every time. And so that's why we end up being caught up in the cares of the world because our flesh is the focus of our strength. And that is what's pulling us towards the world. So, Mr. Well, Ali, is that why in the first division of the first book of Psalms? Oh, I was already there, go brother. Ahead, go ahead. I was already there. It, it just reminded me of uh, back to Revelations about about the tree. Uh, that's that was uh, that we have an inherent right to. And Psalm just says, "Blessed is the man who walketh not in the counsel of, of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of the sinner, nor sinneth in the seal of the scornful, but who delight is in the law." But uh, uh, to just uh, skip over to um, um, the latter part of that that verse, he says that and he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. Wow. Everyone is on their way, but wow. some is already planted. Right. And and we as we see oh, in Revelations, we're going to be that. planted. In Revelations, that's the servant is planted. So some people who go to church are not planted. No, sir. They go to church, but they're not planted. They go to church. My God. But they're not planted. My God. The four grounds that that Christ deals with in Matthew's is still prevalent Woo! today. Mm -hmm. Every single day. I t today, um, um, I seen four four young dudes, man. And the first thing I, I thought of, I said, one of them got good soil. One wow. of them got. The hard ground, one right. of them got the, the thorns, ground, and one yeah. of them got the shallow ground. Right. And I was like, man, God, who got the ground? He said, that's not up to me. Just plant the plant the word. That wow. You don't need to know that. Wow. Right. Just plant the word. Right. Wow. Wow. And and being and, and like and like the subject we're on, and being a part of the world or and having your flesh you know, over overtaking your spirit, you operate different. Even though you know God, I, I posted something on Facebook. I sound like Bishop because I know he he loves saying that when he got some <laughs> nuggets to drop. Right. And, and and um, to make it simple, man, there's no equality when it comes to flesh or spirit. Right. There's no equality. Right. You either strong in one or one is stronger than the other, like you just said. Right. There's no equality. We have to walk in one or we're walking in the other. Uh -huh. There's no in between yep. flesh and spirit. You either love one or hate the other. Simple as that. Yep. Yeah. And and if we operate in our flesh or when we know that it's not conducive to our spiritual walk, we're rejecting Christ. Because he told us simply in his word yep. Which that is these things will manifest. Galatians 5, yep. the works of the flesh. If yep. we live in these things, he says, we will not inherit the kingdom of God. He said, those who do these things, Paul said it, those who do these things will not inherit the kingdom of God. You just rejected Christ. Because you're planting yourself in something that's temporary. Right. It can't, it can't be eternal. Nothing evil, nothing sinful 
can be eternal. Look at what happened with Adam in in the in the kingdom of heaven. And most people just teach he sinned, so he got kicked man, out. It's a bunch of but stuff it's not that, that he just sinned, man. and he got kicked out. When he when he ate that fruit, he gained knowledge of evil. And wow. look at what God said. Oh God my said, God. God said we have to kick him out, lest he also eat the tree of life. God did not want him to have knowledge of evil and eternal life. He could because evil could not be eternal. That's right. Thus, it could not have been gotten rid of. That's right. So he had to be removed That's so right. that evil could not gain etern etern eternity. Right. Wow. Watch this too. Watch me now. <laughs> Check this out. Because it was already in the mind of God yes, exactly. in Hebrews that he took away the first to exactly. establish the second, which was the Lord from heaven. So then if Adam would have had inherent right of eternal life, then mm -hmm. that would have stopped the process of Jesus Christ exactly. coming to the re to redeem the world. Exactly. Mm -hmm. so that's why he got kicked. It wasn't just that he ate the tree so he got to get kicked out. He had to get kicked out so he would not eat the tree of life. Mm -hmm. That's what the Bible says. So... We, we, we want to connect to things that are temporary. We want to connect to things that are temporary, but God would not have it be so. We have to be connected to the word of God because heaven and earth shall pass away, but his word shall well, by no means pass, pass away. away. Look at what the Bible talks about all throughout the Bible, and it's mostly coded, but it's all the word of God. It talks about bread. That's the word of God. It talks about water. That's the word of God. It talks about Jesus. That's the word of God. It talks about a high priest. The That's word, the word of God. The our word. strong tower is the word of God. Our counselor is the word of God. Come on, our God. deliverer is the word of Come God. On, God. Our salvation is the word of God. Come God on, himself is That's the right. word of God. On, God. Everything yes. pertaining to life and godliness is, is the, the word, word of God. God. Man. If you read the Bible in a decoded fashion, you're gonna you're gonna re redefine every uh verb and noun just about as the word of God as it pertains to dealing with us because that is our source to eternal life and the, new <laughs> the mysteries oh, no, I, stopped, I stopped the music let me tell you why <laughs> what you just said and I'm sorry for jumping in y'all show too, no you come on I here. Help you you some play. Y'all got some food tonight <laughs> I mean your fine. audience is really feeling it that's why Jesus when he's talking to the religious leaders mm -hmm. in John he 5 and 39 uh -huh. mm -hmm. he says that you read <laughs> the word uh -huh. or you read the law uh -huh. and in that you think you have eternal, eternal life. life but the, everything that was written it only testify of me so if you go to Genesis People that's me Jesus. if you go to, to Malachi that's me if you go to John that's me that's why in Revelation <laughs> that's why in Hebrews 10 7 Jesus acknowledged God's will yeah. then said I Lo, oh I come God. in the volume of the book to do thy will, O oh God. Stop asking me, do I love or serve the man Jesus when the man of Jesus is dead? He died and rose again. But ask me, do I serve and I'm obedient to his word? That's right. Yep. Mm. Wow. And, that, and I think that's so critical because most believers, it seems to me anyway, I can't just factually proclaim that, but it seems that most <laughs> believers do not understand who their God is. <laughs> your God is the word of God. The word of God. That's your father. That's right. Right? That's your king. That's your master. That's your husband. That's your brother. That's your friend. That's your everything. If you are ignoring wow. the word of God, you are ignoring God himself. Your creator. Yes. Your creator, man. At, yep, your creator. Everything that was made <laughs> was made through the word of God. <laughs> Everything is <laughs> uh, redefined as the word of God when we right. gain that understanding. And so that's what God is just pointing us to. The word. The yeah, word. That's the why word. John, man, he deals with that. When he says, in the beginning was, was the, the word. word. Yes, right. The word was God and the word was with God. There was nothing made that was made without the word. Yep. Huh. Yep. Wow. And, and when it says in verse 14, and the word was made flesh. What he's saying now, the purpose of the word has to shift and take on a different character or nature to make you and I to become a part of his will, his plan of redemption. Yes, right. sir. And then he went back to being the word of God. Ain't that something? <laughs> he was he was both the high priest and the sacrifice. Wow, come the, on, Doc. The word of God. Come on, Doc. The word of God. I dealt with that high, today. Come on, Doc. <laughs> the word of God was the high priest. The man Jesus was the sacrifice, so, but yet they were intertwined as one. That's you right. were the priest. They he was the only one. one. That's right. He entered into the holies so of holies, now, man. That's right. Now he then sacrifices himself. <laughs> 
right, on his on his altar for our sins, and then he rises just as the word of God, not the flesh. Come on. No flesh is entered into heaven. Because it served his purpose. The flesh has served his purpose. There remains no more sacrifice for sin. Right. Mm -hmm. The only the only time wow. you, the only time you actually see the name, uh the physical name Jesus used <laughs> in, in the new covenant is when Paul uh was casting the demon out of the woman that was following him around yes. for days, talking a whole bunch of mess. Yes. And when they say that we're baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. Outside of that, you don't see the name used because he has transitioned from carnal to eternal. Mm -hmm. Yes. So now the word is our God. Yes. The word is our God. It is the logos. Yes. And it yes. and it existed before the man existed. We yes. somebody brought the scripture up the other day, if my people who Which are called I, by right. my name. That's an old covenant scripture. So if his name was not Jesus at that time, what was his name? The Word. Because who called them? The, the word, word called them. That's who right. chose them the in word, the man. beginning? The right. That's right. <laughs> oh, my goodness. We got to get on this word. We are not of this world. We are from the Word of Amen. God and the kingdom of heaven. That's where we from. <laughs> no time out, I would throw it up, but we got believers and sanctified people watching us. Amen. Amen. Until so, next week, amen. we hope you enjoyed the word. Yes. We hope it was fruitful for you. Amen. Please uh, share this video so that it can affect the hearts and the minds of other believers. Yes, we yes. love you and thank you for tuning in. Amen. Be blessed in Jesus' name. Uh, that's it, y'all. That's it, y'all. That's it. <laughs>